Hello, welcome. Let's go start to model and publish our first process on Camundo Platform 8. Here on our console, we have to click on Modeler. After that, you see the modeler.cloud.camunda.io being open. Uh, here, we need the first step here is to create a new project. Okay, I will uh, rename this project project A. Okay, I can uh, click enter and voila, we have our first project here. And when you click in this button, you can see that we have uh, some options here. Uh, you can create a BPMN diagram, a DMN diagram, a form for your processes, folder, you can upload files. Uh, here we're gonna cover just the BPMN diagram creation. That's the main goal of this video. I will click here. Camunda Platform 8 presents this screen here to say to you, okay, you have some uh, process templates here, you know, based on uh, human task or orchestrations or microservices orchestrations, but you can click here to create a blank BPMN diagram for your first process. Okay, I clicked. You have to rename uh, and put uh, a name for your process diagram here. Uh, I will put this one, process A, I will click, I will press enter. All right, I have my first diagram here. I will just, I have the, the, the start event. This is the, the, the starting point of your process, okay? I will click here uh, to create uh, a task. I will put something, just for, for, for an example, I will put something like uh, build report. After that, I will have another task with approve report. Okay. Uh, let's say let's say that this is a, a sales report, you know, and you have to build this report and send this for your manager, and this manager has to approve the report here and. Here you can put approved, the approved verification on our gateway. This is an exclusive gateway where you can take one path or another path. All right. And here would be the yes path approved or uh, the no path that is reject and I can finish my process here and here. Uh, this is an event of end. I'm ending my process here, okay? And I will put uh, report approved and report rejected. I will change this task for user task here. That is the basic task that we can use on our process. I will set this one and this one as user task as well. Okay. And that's it, voila. We have our process uh, modeled. And we can publish this, this diagram, this process, and execute 
it inside our Camunda platform 8. Okay. Okay, Raimundo, how can I do that? Uh, you already have your process uh, auto saved. Okay, and now you just have to click here uh, in this button, deploy diagram. I will do that. And okay, I will uh, click here, deploy. Oh, I have some errors here. What errors I have? Uh, okay, you must have a condition or be at the full flow. Okay, if I have an exclusive gateway, I have to put a default path for it and here on the yes path, I have condition expression. And I will refresh my diagram here and I will correct my process. As we know, I have to define a condition here. Uh, if you have questions about how to define conditions, you have this documentation, this Camunda documentation here. You can click in this link and in this page, you will know how to make conditions, how to build conditions actually, and how to put that uh, condition here inside the field condition expression. I will do something very simple, okay? I will put true here, is a true actually, yeah. Uh, it's a simple condition where uh, my instance will take this path. After that, uh, if I wanna put this path as a default flow, after that, after test this flow report approved, I can change this for false and test this no and report rejected uh, flow. But for now, and to make a simple test, I will put true here, I will deploy my diagram, and I will start my instance. To start your instance and test your diagram, your process, you can click here, start instance. All right, and here, start instance. Instance started, you can click here in this link. You can see the operate web app and we are here on build report task, I will refresh my task list. I have my build report task here. I will claim it and I can complete it. Now you see that we have, we have here the approve report task, I will claim it and I will complete it. But before that, I will show to you that we are here in approve report. Okay, I will complete it. Now, let's check where we are. Okay, we are here now on report approved because I put true for this path and you can see that the blue paths are the executed paths on our instance. Okay, I will select it and I will complete the task. Okay, Raimundo, but how about this path here? Of course, in the future, you have to implement uh, dynamic variables, this, those variables that I'm, I am putting here. And this, actually this variable here, 
uh, with this expression could be a dynamic variable called approved or something else and you can put variables inside your process and make it a more dynamic okay now i will put false here okay auto save it i will deploy my diagram okay i will start my instance i have an instance here i will open the operate again okay i will check my task list i have the build report i will claim it i will complete the task i will refresh my page here okay one second okay i have the approve report task to act on it i complete it and now i have the report reject okay uh, yes here i have my uh, current instance and as you can see we took the no path here for report reject task and now i can claim it and complete the task and that's it that was i planned for you uh, to show to you and i think uh, it's a very good view of what you can start doing with uh, Kamunda Platform 8 and see you in the next video.